Hello, my name is Zach Gibbs, and I am a content developer within Education Services inside Juniper Networks. And today we will be going through the Layer 3 VPN Dynamic Route Distinguishers Learning Byte. Right, so here is our topology. There's a few things I want to point out. As you can see, we have a bunch of different routers. We have four CE devices, CE1 through 4, two PE devices, PE1 and PE2, and four P devices, P1 through 4. And what we'll be focusing with this learning guide is on PE1. There are two VPNs. There is the red and blue VPN, which connect into the red and blue VPN on PE2. And so what we have to do here is we have two route distinguishers manually configured for those VPNs on PE1 and also on PE2. And so doing that's not a huge deal because it's only two VPNs. We only have to configure two route distinguishers. But that's not really much of a real-world scenario. In an actual production environment, a PE actually might have hundreds, if not a thousand, different CEs connected to it, which means hundreds, if not thousands, of different route distinguishers that the administrator would have to manually define on that PE device. And as you can imagine, that would be kind of a headache to do. And so what we're going to do here is we are going to first remove the route distinguishers th that we've created manually uh, beforehand. And then we're going to create a dynamic route distinguisher and see how that's different and how it is created and how it's applied. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump to the CLI of PE1. And again, we will be focusing only on PE1. We won't be configuring this on PE2 because it's pretty much the exact same thing. And so just keep in mind, we're going to work on PE1. So let's go ahead and jump to the CLI of PE1 and get this going. All right, so here is PE1. Let's go ahead and jump into configuration mode and then go to our routing instances. And we have two routing instances, one for the blue VPN, one for the red VPN. And you can see here that we have manual route distinguishers. We have the 192.168.100.1 colon 2 for the blue VPN and 198.162.100.1 colon 1 for the red VPN. And like I mentioned before, we only have two VPNs, so that's not a huge deal to manually set that. But if we had 100, 200, 300, that would actually be a lot of work and prone to error as well. So let's go ahead and delete those, those route distinguishers. And now we don't have route distinguishers. And of course, if we attempt to commit that, it's going to error because you need to have a route distinguisher. That is actually a part of a layer three VPN when defining VPNs in routing instances like this you have to have a route distinguisher. So let's go ahead and jump to routing options. So this is going to be done in the main hierarchy, in the main routing instance, that is. And we have to define the route distinguisher ID. And the loopback address of this router is 192.168.1.1. You probably guessed that from the manual route distinguishers. So let's go ahead and use the loopback address again and hit enter there. Now, notice with this that we didn't set anything such as the manual route distinguishers that would be like a colon one, colon two, or anything like that. That's going to happen automatically. That's the beauty of this configuration. So with that being said, let's go ahead and commit the configuration and see how this works out. To begin, let's look at and see what we're actually advertising. Let's do the at route, show route advertising protocol. And this is going to a route reflector. And I think that's 100.2. I guess I have to specify BGP first. I think my route reflector is dot two and is not. Let me check that. And you can see it's uh oh it's not one hundred, it's one dot two. It's close. Okay, so dot two. So we can see we're advertising some routes. So let's look at the detailed information of that. And you can see here that we have a route distinguishers that we're sending. So this is the blue VPN, and you can see our route distinguisher. Let me scroll up actually. You see our, so we can see that it's the blue VPN. So this is the INET, the blue.inet.0 table. And we see the route distinguisher here. We have a 192.168.1.1 colon 8. And okay, cool. So colon 8 looks like is what we're using for the blue VPN. So let's look at the red VPN. You can see that we're using the red.inet.0 table here. And you can see that we are using a route distinguisher or sending a route distinguisher along with the route of 192.168.1.1 colon 9. And so, okay, so those are definitely two different route distinguishers, right? 
and the colon something was added automatically. And so we can do this. The whole point of this is to give you a shortcut so you don't have to manually type a whole bunch of different manual uh, route distinguishers. And so it just makes it easier on you as an administrator, and plus it's less prone to error. And so that's great to see we are seeing those routes with the uh, route distinguisher that is derived from that route distinguisher ID statement. So that is the, the dynamic way of assigning route distinguishers in a layer three VPN. So that does bring us to the end of this learning byte. In this learning byte, we talked about how to configure a dynamic route distinguisher and how to verify that we're actually using that dynamic route distinguisher as well. So as always, thanks for watching. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.